Hi, my name is Rise Wave, and this is my dad. Come here, dad. <laughs> and today, Hi. and today, you guys are gonna learn to make the famous, yeah, famous guacamole. It's a life lesson that you gotta learn, and maybe follow follow along with us. Key ingredients. Key ingredients are avocados. One tomato or half a tomato. Is it tomato or tomato? Tomato. Oh. And we're using four avocados today and half a tomato. And what else you need is an onion for some stuff. Garlic salt. And if you want to make it extra spicy, you can add some cilantro. We're going to get to that later, though. We're going to do the avocados the tomato and the onion first so we're gonna start with the avocados don't worry i'm certified to use a knife my dad taught me oh boy all right now we're back with all of our avocados cut up you're gonna take a fork and then this part might be a little gross for some people but we're gonna shovel it out and then once we've got our bowl right here we're gonna take it, shovel it off. Oh, what you doing? Cutting them up. You gotta scoop them out. What are you scooping them out with? A spoon. A spoon. I don't want none of that rhyme because that's all nasty stuff. No rhyme, huh? Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Tell us more. We just gotta scoop it out, and some of these are hard, like this one. So we don't want to use those more. That one's still pretty hard, <laughs> so you really wouldn't want to use that one. All right, we're back, and we cut all these avocados up and scooped them all out. So now we were ready to take our tomato out and cut it in half, the probably, half in uh, half. Use a whole tomato with that many avocados. Yeah, so we're going to take another half out of our bag which two plus two equals four, which is a whole. So that's the whole tomato. And now... It's two quarters plus two quarters yeah. plus two quarters. So we gotta cut that up. And now we have four parts of a tomato. See, there's four parts. They're all cut in half. So now we get to cut these up. Let's try and lower the camera. So now we get to cut these up. Like that. Get yeah, cut them up into little pieces. All right, and then after we're done cutting them up into little pieces, cut that end off. Oh yeah. Gotta cut these little ends off, where it's like greenish and yellowish. See this? We want to cut that stuff off. In these little parts because they're yellowish. And really look at your tomatoes to make sure that they have all those parts off. And if they don't, you might want to thoroughly go through and cut them off again. And I just missed that one because I didn't thoroughly go through them, which isn't very good. But, um,. Yeah, we cut all our tomatoes up. I recommend, if you do cut them up, use a serrated knife. Because a serrated knife is a lot better for tomatoes than a normal life knife like this. You can see, serrated knife has like these little things. A normal knife doesn't have anything. So we gotta make sure that it's working. Alright, so now we're gonna be back. When I cut all these tomatoes up, it'll be like two minutes for me, but it'll be zero for you. All right. All right, so now we're back with all these tomatoes cut up. We're going to throw them in the bowl now. So let's slowly get them in there. We don't want to spill any. So let's keep getting them in there. All right, so now that we have all these tomatoes in there, we take our onion. And let's cut it up. 
we don't need that much. All we really need is to take our knife back, wash it off, because we need a clean knife. Okay, you're going way too detailed, right? All right, now we're going to cut it up. We're going to cut it up, and then we'll be right back. And this is about how much onion you need for four avocados and one tomato. This is all you're going to need. Cut it up in little pieces like this, and then we'll get back when we put it in there. All right, we're back with all these onions cut up, and... We're ready to scoop them in, so let's take our bowl and then shovel it in there. And now let's look at all of our let's look at our accomplishments so far. So far, it just looks like a lot of fruits and veggies on top of one another, but it's really something more than just that. And now, whenever you're ready. If you still want to like go over all the ingredients or whatever, you can take this. It's kind of like a masher, but if you have any other masher, like it doesn't matter what masher you have, just like mash it really well up like this. And then kind of mix it together. It'll get to the right, like not temperature, but like looks, it'll look right. All right, now we'll get back to you when it's done. All right, now it's formed the right color. It should be able to stay in the bowl with you doing that. So yeah, it's the right color now. And we won't need this right now for the time being. Still keep it to the side. We're gonna add garlic salt and mix it up like, or shake it like this to get everything unclumped and then just shake it in there. Now, don't put too much and it'll taste really garlicky, garlicky. And then mix it until you think it tastes the best. So we'll get back to you when it, that happens. All right, so we're trying a little bit just with the garlic salt. We aren't done with the recipe fully yet. So let's take a scoop. And you forgot. Bam! You gotta say bam. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And put, add garlic salt until you think it's a little bit necessary. At a time. Yeah, just a little bit at a time. Just like one or two shakes should be good. Mix it up. Try it again. it again. And then, yeah, when it works, it'll work. All right, we've, we've tasted it. And now we're done with our garlic salt. So now we're going to take our cilantro out from this bag. Time for the secret sauce. Yeah. And how much would we need, Dad? Not much. So we'll get back to you when it's portioned correctly. So All right, avocados. we've got our little portion for four avocados. So now we're gonna lay it down and slowly chop at it until it's like basically the same size yes. as everything else. All right, we'll get back to you when that happens. All right. All right, now we're done cutting up all of our cilantro. And now that we're ready, we're going to scoop it into our part portion. Just scoop it into your guac. Guacamole. And then mix it up like you did before. One more time. The reason why we added the garlic and then mixed it up and then tried it is to make sure that we have enough garlic sauce or garlic powder in it. So now we're going to mix this up and I'll get back to you guys. All right, now we're back with the finished product. Let's show you guys. This is how it should look or how it could look. It should look pretty good though, so let's try it. Scoop a little bit. And bottoms up. That's amazing. Wait a minute, guy. We don't know amazing. So follow along, or you can save this video as a recipe. Holy moly, guacamole! But yeah, 
it's a really good recipe, so save it for later. Or you could follow along, uh, restart it to time that you need. So yeah, it's really good. Enjoy. Thank you for looking, or thank Happy you for watching. Happy New Year, and have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.